Did you know Photoshop has this depth blur, which gives a really nice depth of field effect to your photo? But the problem with this blur is it doesn't make the blur right. What I mean by that is when you look at this photo, you can see the corners are not perfectly done. And I found two simple ways to fix this problem. So let's get into Photoshop. All right, so first of all, open up your photo in Photoshop. And the first thing you wanna do is to duplicate your photo by pressing Ctrl or Command J. And the next thing to do is to press right mouse on your photo and convert this to a smart object. Now we need to go to filter and select neural filters. And in neural filters, we can apply this effect. When you look in the photography section, we have depth blur, which is still is beta. Let's enable this and let's process this first. And you can already see what it does to the image. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna first click on focus subject because obviously we want to focus our subject and you can already see it doesn't look good. Let's increase the blur strength all the way up so we can see this really good. And look at that, look at the borders here, it looks horrible. Look at the amount of blur, it's a lot. But you can obviously see these edges here look horrible. So let's fix that first. Let's press OK and we need to go in Photoshop itself here. The next thing what we need to do here is we need to make a mask. So let's make a mask on this layer first. So this is the layer with the blur. And then select a brush or press B on your keyboard. And now there are two ways to do this. You could either select a general soft round brush. Let me zoom in here. And with the black color selected, I can go around my subject like that. And that way I can make these edges soft again, which will make the photo look great. This is the first way and the other way that is my favorite one and that is to use a hair brush or a fur brush. So let's go to hair brush fur brush and when I use this brush I get even better results as you can see here. And one more tip when you get to whiskers like this the best way to fix this is to take a pen tool select shape here make sure you have white selected as a color and just take one whisker and draw it like that. And make sure you have the stroke at white and the fill at transparent. And now we can set the pixel here. So let's make sure it's pretty much the same pixels as the original one, like that. And then drop the opacity to match the same color as the whisker. And make a mask and just brush the edges so you get a really sharp edge like that and also brush the starting side. And you can see here, we can create those whiskers perfectly as they are. And that's pretty much it. So if you wanna create your own fur or hairbrush, make sure to check out this video. I made a video on how to create your own fur or hairbrush. And until then, catch you on the next video.